Top 5 Office Email Time Wasters Office Email Burns Time Theoretically, they shouldn't be doing as much email and that's what's actually being reported on our surveys with our clients. Stop making these five email mistakes and you could save the equivalent of 15 workdays a year. Mistake number one, confusing subject lines. Sometimes people find that frustrating and confusing because they're having to open emails that they wouldn't necessarily open if the person had taken the time to write a clear and descriptive subject line. Mistake number two, replying just to say thank you. Most people, 90% of people are saying, I don't need the thanks. So some people might use an abbreviation, NTN, no thanks needed. Mistake number three, urgent receipt required. There are certain instances when a receipt required is needed. There are other times when things are urgent, but to mark every email, urgent, high priority, or receipt required, did you get my message about the lunch today? It's not necessary all the time, and that can be annoying and confusing sometimes to the receiver. Mistake number four, replying all, all the time. If you receive in an email and you hit reply to all and it goes out to 20 people and then those 20 people begin to hit reply to all, it can compound very quickly into hundreds of thousands of emails because now you're multiplying by whatever the distribution is. And once one person has hit reply to all, it sort of opens it up. Everyone else feels compelled to hit reply to all. Mistake number five, long emails. If I ask you for the time, just tell me the time, don't build me a clock. So. Often just getting, being very clear and very concise and direct with a person is often the best way to answer an email and be clear and concise about it. Done.